Like I can barely see my face underneath this makeup, but I think that's the point of a high fashion glamour shoot. Guys, this is on site. That's the lighting equipment, more equipment, me, my bag of chips. <laughs> your fashion doctor today we are here at this cool location for our underwater shoot this is actually my first time doing an underwater shoot and there's a lot of planning that goes into it from safety precautions to coming and prepping for all the things that will go on on that day and we chose this location specifically because we wanted this amazing lemon tree to be in the shoot as it drops lemons into that pool my photographer and friend Sarah is with me taking a video of me but yeah and, and she's camera shy but you know, she's actually done a lot of work in choosing the dresses and figuring out the poses for what I will do on that day. And yeah, I can't wait to show you guys the final product. I will probably be taking more clips as the shooting goes in progress to show you exactly how it feels to do a modeling shoot and how much work goes into it. So keep watching. I'm actually also the uh, photographer's assistant today and I will, I will have the, um, what do you call it? The lemon. So today I have the job of the photographer's assistant and my job is to be the lemon dropper and ripple producer. I can't believe that's an actual thing, but here I'll show you what I do. Sarah's gonna make this look really cool, I promise. <laughs> now let me grab the lemon with my lacrosse stick. <laughs> One of the things I didn't realize is how many safety measures we have to take before and during the shoot. Before the shoot, we've actually come to scout the location and see exactly what poses would be honestly workable and human. And also during the shoot, Sarah has a lifeguard on, on duty so that while I'm modeling, someone can actually spot me. The other things we need to watch out about is the eardrops and the eye drops. Okay, so the eardrops that I'm going to be using actually prevent swimmer's ear and the eye drops are to at least delay the redness of the eyes. And you know, that has a lot to do with the chlorine in the water and we can't prevent that. So we actually have to time the shoot in a way that I do all my dry, dry photos on land prior to actually submerging myself and trying to take the underwater photos. Once I'm under the water, I have to make sure that my breathing is okay. Again, the use of the lifeguard is very, very crucial. So one of the advice that I saw on YouTube was to breathe out a little so that I can sink to the bottom and allow my dress to float. Along with that, I have to make sure that my face is relaxed and I don't panic underwater. I may not be able to see my photographer, but I need to be able to depend on her basically to take the shots. She knows best. And trust that I am there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and another piece of advice I got is that in underwater shoots, I need to make sure my feet are pointed and my hands are soft. That way it translates very elegantly into the photo. So I'm just excited for it. You know, I've never done this before and this is Sarah's dream project. So I can't wait. Fitting number two. Yes. No makeup. <laughs> Okay, the night before the shoot, I have a zit that I need to deal with. Also, I look very tired. I have to make sure I go to sleep early. I've made sure that I've ate semi-okay during the week and I've worked out. Hopefully my booty looks a little bit better. I gotta go to sleep. I gotta wake up early tomorrow. Like I can barely see my face underneath this makeup, but I think that's the point of a high fashion glamour shoot. Guys, this is on site. That's the 
lighting equipment, more equipment. Hey guys, this is Hina. I'm hungry. Modeling is fun and all, but you gotta feed yourself. Okay guys, I'm back home and I'm exhausted. Oh my God, I could sleep for days. And I'm so glad I got all that makeup off. I personally like my skin a lot more when it's not all cakey. I mean, it's fine, it's got blemishes and all, but it's so much simpler. Back to the actual topic. I'm glad I recorded all that. I'm probably gonna have it up on the same day as I do the actual music video. Uh, this was Sarah's dream project, so follow her on Instagram. She is an incredible photographer and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you uh, had a nice little taste of what a model has to go through to prepare for a shoot and the day of. It is honestly a working day. I had to wake up early, get ready, and then makeup started. That took a good hour. And then the actual shoot, the changing, the swimming, yeah, that was quite a day. Uh, it's a lot of work. I really hope you guys enjoy the end result. See you guys, bye. Oh,